Hello everyone, this is Andrew again and welcome to PLC Programming Training for Beginner Part 6. Let's start our first exercise. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have one push button and one lamp. If PB1 is pressed, the lamp will blink one second on, one second off. Blinking will stop if PB1 is released. Let's have our demonstration. Okay, as you can see, the lamp is blinking while you're pressing PB1, and the moment you release PB1, the blinking stops. Okay, I want you to post this video right now. And try to solve it by yourself then after that you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer okay let's continue this will be my answer to this exercise let's analyze this program first I will press PB1 and because X0 is now energized T0 will turn on after one second then now T0 is activated and that will make all the contact of T0 to change. And because the T0 here is activated, that will cause the T1 here to activate also after 1 second. And now, because T1 is activated, all the contact of T1 will change. And as you can see here, normally close T1 will be open and that will cause T0 here to turn off. And because T0 here is off, the contact will go back to its initial state. And that will cause T1 here to deactivate. And because T1 here is deactivated, the normally closed contact here will go back to its initial state. And because of that, T0 will be activated again. And this cycle continues while X0 here is energized. And this cycle will only stop if we will release PB1. Let's have our simulation. And as you can see, the blinking stop after you release PB1. And that's how we solve exercise 1. And now let's go to exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. If PB1 is pressed, the lamp will blink one second on, one second off. Blinking will stop if PB2 is pressed. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Okay, as you can see, the blinking stop after we press PB2. And now, I want you to post this video and try to do it by yourself. And you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, this will be my answer to this exercise. Okay, let's press PB1. And by pressing PB1, X0 will be energized. And now, because X0 is now energized, that will make M0 to energize also. And there will be a latching. And because of that, even if I release PB1, M0 will still on. And now, because M0 is on, T0 will start counting. Then after 1 second, T0 will be activated. And because T0 is now activated, T1 will be activated after 1 second. Then 
because T1 is now activated, all the contact of T1 will change. And that will cause T1 here to be open. And because of that, T0 here will be deactivated. And because T0 is deactivated, all the contact of T0 will be go back to its initial state. And now, because T1 is now deactivated here, all the contact of T1 will go back to its initial state also. And now, because of this one, T0 here will be activated again. And T1 will be activated here also. And this cycle will continue unless M0 here is off. And now, to turn off M0 here, we need to press PB2. And that's it. And now let's go to our simulation. Now let's press PB1. And as you can see, the cycle stopped after we press PB2. And that's how we solve exercise 2. And now let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have one push button and two lamp. If PB1 is pressed, lamp 1 will turn on. After 3 seconds, lamp 2 will turn on. 3 seconds after lamp 2 turns on, both lamp will turn off. Okay, let's have our demo. Let's press PB1. Let's have our demo again. Okay, now I want you to post this video and try to do it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this exercise. Now, we're going to analyze this program first before simulation. Let's press PB1. After pressing PB1, Y1 will be activated here. And because there's slatching, Y1 will not turn off. And that will cause lamp 1 to turn on. And T0 here will be activated after 3 seconds. Okay, after 3 seconds, as you can see, all the contact of T0 will be changed. And that will cause Y1 to turn on. And at the same time, T0 here will be activated after 3 seconds. And that will cause all the contact of T1 to change. As you can see here, T1 will cause Y0 to turn off and T0 as well. And because T0 will be deactivated, Y1 will be deactivated also. And that will cause T1 to deactivate here also. And because T1 here is deactivated, the contact of T1 here will go back to its initial state. And that's it. Let's have our simulation. Okay, and that's how we solve exercise 3. Now let's go to exercise 4. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have one push button and two lumps. If PB1 is pressed, lamp 1 will turn on. Lamp 1 will turn off 3 seconds after it turns on. 2 seconds after lamp 1 turns off, lamp 2 will turn on. Lamp 2 will turn off 4 seconds after it turns on. Okay, let's have our demo. Now let's press PB1.
Okay. Let's try it again. Okay, now I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video and compare your answer. Okay, let's continue. First, I want you to analyze this program first. Let's press PB1. By pressing PB1, X0 here will be activated and that will cause M0 to be activated. Because there's slouching, M0 here will not turn off even if we release X0. And timer 0 here will be activated after 3 seconds. And because timer 0 is now activated, all the contact of timer 0 will be changed. The normally open contact here will allow the signal to flow to timer 1. That will be activated after 2 seconds. And the normally closed contact here of T0 will make Y0 to turn off. Then now, after 2 seconds, timer 1 here will be activated. And because of that, all the contact of timer 0 will change. And that will allow Y1 to turn on. And after that, T2 will be activated after 4 seconds. Then, because T2 is activated, all the contact of T2 will be changed. Because this one is normally closed, it will be open. And that will cause M0 here to be deactivated. And because of that, T0 will be deactivated also. T1 will be deactivated also. And because T1 is deactivated, the contact of T1 will go back to its initial state. And that will cause Y1 here to turn off. And now, because T2 here is deactivated, normally close T2 here will go back to its initial state and normally close T0 also. And you need to press X0 again to repeat the cycle. And now let's have our simulation. Let's press PB1. Okay, I hope you enjoy watching this video and uh, please wait for the next episode of my tutorial. And that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please uh, like and share my YouTube videos. And please like my Facebook page, the Gizgon Mechatronics Engineering Skills Tips, Tricks and Learning. And please click see first on Facebook to notify you for new posts. And uh, thank you again. See you next time.